Hi guys, so um, welcome back to the Psychic Sleuth and another kind of card reading, but this is different. This is going to be on a new case because I was really curious about this one and I haven't got to sit down and channel it, but I do have to say that I was channeling when I was doing this. I was having visions while I was doing this, so I might channel off the card while I'm doing this or I might channel afterwards. Now, I normally don't channel by myself, um, but we'll see if things come easy. I may just do that. It doesn't mean I won't do another reading for more clarity. I will. But this is very, like, weird. Um, and, I mean, I'm tired just from pulling cards and doing it. I even pulled, like, regular tarot with it. But it has the meanings on the cards. I actually don't have enough room on this desk. But, anyways. Um, so, this is kind of interesting. <laughs> um... But I felt like, see, I got the name David at the end of Elizabeth's reading. Um, and I posted it on the community page. And then somebody's like, oh, how about David Schultz? That's probably him. It is very possibility, very possible the reason why I got that um, name. So I've been, you know, seeing things on him. I'm kind of feeling a little pulled to it. And I was like, you know what? I don't want to wait to sit down and do a reading. I want to pull some cards and see what I got here. Now, um, like I said, this is just a preliminary card reading. I'm not saying that I'm going to perceive this right and it's going to be right. But I feel like I've been channeling for an hour, which is basically took me about 45 minutes to pull these. Um, and I am just, yeah, I don't know. This is kind of crazy. The way that this is coming up and it's not what I expected honestly it's not but it makes sense so that's why I'm like huh maybe this is right now again um anything that I channel you know information can be past present future symbolic have multiple meanings spirit uses my references experiences how I relate to things if I get anything it may be things around the area it may be people around you know people connections um, it's not always about the perp it can, or about the victim. It can be people around them, people connected to them. Um, if I get anything about that, I just wanted to let you guys know for anybody that's new here. And again, I don't normally pull cards first. I normally pull them afterwards. Like I, I do the reading and then I pull the, go back and I'm doing like validations for the cards. But I don't know, for some reason I was like, well, let me pull cards on this. And he's been here the whole time. So I was really hoping and thinking that, like, he ran off and he was live somewhere. But I don't know. These are weird ass cards. And I think that there's a lot of secrets here that maybe things that he was into that his wife wasn't aware of. I'm not saying he's not a good guy. But people do things and it gets them into trouble, unfortunately. And I'm not saying, um, again, that this was his fault or that he went, you know, um anything like that but i feel like whatever he was doing and was in what was into was what led to his disappearance and i was hoping like he just like had a mental issue and ran off somewhere but the cars aren't saying that i feel like he's been with me this entire time that i've been doing this watch the balls because i do have balls i have one here there and there and david is welcome to touch them to validate if he wants to um he's very strong here i feel <laughs> i mean i'm hot and I feel a little ungrounded. So that tells me that, that I've been having visions as I've pulled these cards. Um, but so again, I'm new at pulling cards. I'm learning. You're learning along with me. I'm just going to perceive them the best way that I know how. I do have this picture sitting here. So again, if I feel like I need a channel when I'm done with this, I will. But I think it's going to take me a minute to get through this anyways. Um, so there's no right, right or wrong way to do cards. I'm not going to show you the cards. I'm going to show you on my new camera over here because it's just a mess because I don't have any room, but I know how I pulled them. Um, so, again, I may perceive them right. I may perceive them not wrong. But any type of reading, whether it's card reading, mediumship reading, whatever, it's a matter of perception. So it's how we perceive the information. It's how we understand it. I am just taking visions and th symbols and things and trying to translate that the best way that I can. I can always misperceive things. Um, so it's all in how we perceive it. And so I'll just explain certain things that come through that I see. I'll explain what I feel like goes along with the cards. But again, it's how we perceive it. 
and all of that. And I'm also using my intuition along with just the cards, okay? Um, and I, this is something that I'm trying to get a little bit better at because I feel like it's an extra tool. Like the tools are extensions of us, and I feel like it's an extra tool that can be useful. And since it opens us up and helps our intuition, I feel like it could maybe help get more clarification and information on cases and um, a good way to maybe start or end a case and a good way to get the energy flowing to maybe get visions on a case if I'm feeling stuck. So that's why I want to do it. So do keep in mind that this is for entertainment purposes only. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Viewer discretion is advised just in case because there is something I keep seeing and I, I hope it's wrong, but it's repeating. Um, and I can't help what I see, so I'm just going to give you what I give you. And, you know, it is what it is. Um, I always try to be upfront and honest. And I've been doing this, you know, almost 11 years. And I'm not perfect, but I do the best that I can to understand spirit and their charades that they give me. So a lot of times they give me charades and whatnot. I'm just a human connecting to another realm. So I do the best that I can to get their voice heard, to get go get out whatever is happening. And again, I may misunderstand this, but the way this is coming in is very odd. Um, okay. So, oh, this is no way factual information either. This is all alleged. And again, entertainment purposes only. All right. So I know this is a little different than usual, but it is what it is. We're going to, we're starting this way. I was supposed to channel with Lizzie on this tonight, but I don't know what happened. She's having issues with her phone or something. So I just going off to do things on my own because for some reason I feel a really strong pull to this all of a sudden for some odd reason. And I think it's because he's, he must be, he must be putting me. I hope he touches the balls like Dylan did. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't need to put on my, let me add my other camera. Oh, I want to put it. No, that's right. Okay, yeah. All right. So I'm going to just show you the cards over here on this other camera. So you guys can see. All right. So the first thing we got is the homicide card. Okay. Not looking good in terms of, like I said, I feel his energy today, which is really weird. Because I normally don't feel spirit this strong. That through this whole reading, I could hear him telling me what cards to show, how long, how much to shuffle, when to split the cards, all of that. So, find it very interesting. Seems to be a very strong character. Unfortunately, this, but I also got the kidnapped card. See, I wasn't expecting this. Like, seriously, you guys? When I first heard about this, I was like, oh, I probably had mental health issues and like ran off. But it kind of makes sense because his scent stopped. So, something must have picked him up. So, we get the kidnapped card. Now, this is where it's kind of interesting. And it's weird because all my cards back this up. Like the ending cards, the murder mystery cards, like they back up what comes in this reading. So we got accident and trafficking. Now, the way that I'm taking these cards right here is thinking that he was into something like he started accidentally trafficking or whatnot. Because I got, when I did, when I ended up doing these cards at the end, a lot of money stuff came up. Um, so I don't know if he was having financial problems or he wanted to make more money or if he was offered money to do something of that sort, because I take these, I'm not taking like, it's like it was an accident that it happens almost like an accident, all trafficking. So I don't know if like there was something on the truck or on other prior trucks that he was trafficking, but it kind of comes across the way that I'm taking and perceiving this is that maybe he got pushed into accidental trafficking. And I'll tell you why this kind of makes sense in a minute, because I picked up, like, the same, like, I don't know. They all seem to match everything. So, yeah. So, I think it comes across as in some way he started trafficking something, or he got into it, or it was put in the truck. There's some kind of that here. Um, and I keep wanting to go back to the business or back to the person maybe he was working for. Okay, um, that's the way that I, I'm taking those cards. So when I saw that, I was like, ah, oh, kidnapped, possibly unalived over the what he was into regarding trafficking. But I don't feel like it's something that he 
wanted to do. It's more like something he fell into doing or he was kind of forced to do or something along those lines. Um, that kind of comes in. Um, and like I said, I'm going to try my best to channel off the cards and understand the cards. I need to pull his picture up. Okay, so then we have the hijacked card, which basically, I mean, if he was a, if he was abducted, he was hijacked. If anything in the car truck was taken that we don't know about, it was hijacked. Like, that's how I take this card, which makes it kind of goes along with the kidnapping card. But then next to that, we have truck, which this isn't the wrong thing. This is supposed to be like in the object, like. Well, yeah, no, wait, this is right. Yeah, this isn't the right thing. Sorry. So I'm just wondering if he wasn't accidentally trafficking something like this or got into it in some way. Because, he, I mean, he feels like a good guy. I don't feel like it was anything, like, he meant to get into. Oh, back my head is hurting. Okay. And then I have buried, which... I don't know, can be a lot of different things. I mean, usually when it comes in with this, it can be, I mean, depending on how you take this, it could, he could be buried, but also if you take it like when someone's like um, into something, like they they can't dig themselves out of like a hole, like you can kind of take it like that too. Like he got buried into this situation. Like I'm kind of taking it as that. Um. I mean, he could be buried physically, but I'm just saying it, it the way that I'm perceiving it with it next to the drug and hijack card is that maybe he like got himself like buried or in too deep in this situation. That's how I'm taking it. But again, it could be physically buried as well. So things can have multiple meanings, I think, even in cards. And then we have the missing card, which he is still missing. Um, so that was very validating on that. Okay. So this is kind of interesting um i don't know why i put the little fortune card here okay uh, right there. all right so this this part is kind of weird all right this part's kind of interesting all right so we have parental figure now we can take that as we can take that as like he is a parental figure because he is he's a dad so sometimes the cards aren't always who's involved but it could be that the person that's involved is also a parental figure um because i've i've pulled this card before like with elizabeth i pulled it and we didn't know that the guy was like had a son and he did so it could be that the perpetrator is a parental figure as well. Um, not, nece not necessarily his parental figure, just a parental figure in general. And that's usually when I get that card, depending on how the other cards fall, it doesn't always mean it's like their parental figure. It can just be um, a parental figure. Or we have, I don't know, like, because we have the, a friend, but it could be a friend too. It could be a friend that's a parental figure. Or a friend to a parental figure. But it's definitely a friend. So this is someone I feel. Because it's a friend. And then we have a con man card. So it's someone that was a friend. But is also a con man. So he's someone that. I feel. Wasn't a true friend. Was very much a con man. Um. And then we have hiding out, retired. So, I don't, see, I had hoped this whole time that, like, David was just hiding out. So, but the way that it feels and the other cards that I'm getting, I mean, it kind of doesn't feel that way because I keep seeing a vision over and over of, like, his demise. I don't really want to say it yet. Um, and like I said, I feel his energy pretty, or I feel energy pretty strongly. Um, 
with him for some reason. Like I feel very, that I feel like I've just done like an hour reading. Um, like I'm super ungrounded. So hiding out retired could be someone that's been hiding out since. Um, I kind of get, I'm kind of like confused on these calls. <laughs> So we have I wonder if it's someone that like was a friend but also like so knew the spouse and knew like the family. Um because we have I mean we have the child card, the rival card, and the spouse card. So we have this rival card here, so it makes me wonder. And then it's next to the spouse card. So it makes me wonder, like, he knew them? Like, the, the spouse knows of him. I just keep taking this as a business partner, someone he worked with or worked for. Like, that's the way it feels to me. But and then we have thief, which if this is about money and the D's, paraphernalia, whatever you're allowed to say on YouTube, if that's what this is about, then I can see where the thief is coming at. Okay. And then we have family dynasty. But it's next to the thief card. So it makes me wonder if it's like this isn't something that like runs in the family. It can be in his past. It can he may or may have not been caught for it before. Sorry, I feel a little out of it, you guys. Seriously, I did I'm like drunk from the energy for some reason. Um See, and then we got the father card again. So that could be that someone is a dad. So we got, I know he is obviously, but it could also be because we have the terrorist card next to the father card. So that could be like he's a, I always take the terrorist card as like a bad guy, like a bad guy. Um, and it could actually be someone that's like terrorizes people. Like he's, he's a bad guy, but I hear like undercover, like. He could be into, like, other things. You know what I mean? Like, running things. Running the Ds kind of thing. Okay. Sorry. I know I'm kind of getting off track here, but I'm just... That's kind of what's coming in. Friend. See, it's like... It comes in, like, friend to family member. So, I don't know, like... I don't know where his dad is. I mean, you could take it as, like, a friend of his dad. But, um, I don't understand that child card. I really don't. And then we have, like, stranger. But I can take the stranger card as, like, um, someone that, you know, you think they're a friend, but they're really a stranger. Like, you think you know someone, but you don't. Sometimes I take the stranger card as that. It's not always necessarily like a stranger stranger because we have that they're a friend twice here. So I take it as, like, unless there's more involved, it's a friend and a stranger. But it seems to me that he knew them, or at least, like, maybe his spouse even knew them. I thought that's the way that it kind of comes across. Um... God, if this video doesn't turn out good, then I'm going to see. And then I, I put this over here. This is the, um, this is the emperor card. And I put it over here because it's like, it's a fatherhood authority figure. And he has tyranny, like the, the, the bad part of him. And he's stubborn and he's, um, lack of discipline, excessively controlling, domination so this is someone that's like also an older male it could be an aries or fire sign because it's a fire card but just saying or in their chart somewhere so when i pulled the emperor i put it here with this because it kind of explains what we're just talking about like this could be like an older parental figure someone that was a someone that he knew or his family knew but, or they think they know, they don't really know him, but you know what I mean? Like they think he's a friend, but he's really a foe. That's what I heard. Okay. Um, 
sorry, these cards, those cards are really confusing. And I will try to, again, channel. If I cannot channel tonight, I will either do an auto write or reading with Lizzie or something else. But this is just a preliminary card reading. Okay, so I'm not saying this is exactly how I won't know until I do the reading reading. Okay, but I had to do something because it was driving me crazy. Okay, so we for the area we have hidden. And we have the road card next to that as well. If I see any more on the area like I do with Dylan, I will let you guys know. Okay. Um, feel free to touch the balls to validate, please. And then we have underground, which could kind of go for the fairy, like the same thing as the fairy card. And I don't know, can anybody tell me if like it's cold over there right now? Because we got frozen. The frozen card. So I don't know if they have snow or anything yet. Now, hmm, the next card we have is a desert card. I could take that as just somewhere that's sandy. It doesn't necessarily have to be the desert, but sometimes I take it as it's just a sandy area. Um portal, we have portal, which I don't know how to take that unless it's like it, it might not be things aren't always as like literal like i always tell people they're not always literal as i see them so and they're not always literal in cards either so the portal card could be just a different area or it could you could take it as like it's almost like you went through portal because you just vanished i mean we have we have wooded area And mountains. So I don't know if Iowa is all flat or there's any type of mountains anywhere. The woods. And then we have now the basement card. Now some of these cards can be where something took place, not necessarily um where like he's by or whatever. But when I get the basement card, sometimes it can be underground, which matches that. But when I pulled this card, I kept seeing like Something happening in the basement, like his possible demise, or an area like that looks like one, or like a weird looking, kind of like you know, like basement looking place. Um, because the inside card is below that, so I'm just wondering if this is more like where something happens, so the basement like, because I don't have a card for every area or everything. So it'd be something that's similar to that. Like I feel something happened. And then there's a school. Look at schools involved. Or school by. Now remember it can be things on the way by. Um, around. Outside. So he's outside. But there's a public. This is a public building nearby. And there's water nearby. And I, I keep getting this public area. So I don't know. Um, and then the home card. So, this is not so maybe him, his home, it could be the perpetrator's home. Like, by the perpetrator's home. Once we figure out who that is. Um, and I don't know. Let's see. Um, so I'm just going to throw out that I got the Wheel of Fortune card. I'm going to just talk about it now because it is an unlucky, like, misfortune. Um, when it's when you're taking a negative aspect of it, so it is a cycle. You know, it is when it's in the good aspect, it's good things, but when it's not in the so good aspect, it's it's like setbacks, unlucky, misfortune, like delays, things like that. Yeah. So we have a witness. So there is somebody that does know something that is a witness to something. Um, there's a paper trail. So if he was, like, this could be any sort of paper trail. It could be from a business or whatever. Like, you know, they have um, information of where he was going and all of that. Like, that's that's a paper trail. Um, Hardy, I'm not really sure how this fits other than... I'm not really sure how it fits because I know alcohol did come in. And I, I know that in his past he had alcohol things and that could, you know, how the cards play and if that was in his energy. If, if he drank at all, I'm not saying he was drinking and driving or anything like that. I'm not saying that. 
I'm just saying if it's anywhere in his life, it would come up. Um, or the other person could have been drinking or alcohol. But anyways, there's a party here, so I don't know. That could mean that um, it could be at any point. So it could be like someone attended a party of theirs or a gathering of theirs or something as well. Um, like prior. And then we have DNA. So there's some form of uh, DNA there. I don't understand the love one. I don't understand that love card. Unless, because it's like love is exposed. Right. I don't know about that. I don't understand that. And then we have investigation. Because there's an investigation going on. But see, we got the intoxication card again. And I pulled alcohol up there that I haven't gotten to yet. So somewhere, somehow, something's involved there. The social media. I mean, we could have, like, fallen off the wagon. I don't know. That's what I just heard. But I don't know um, if it had anything to do with his, like, disappearance or if it's just around the situation. Because I think there's more to it than, like, you know, intoxication. We have a microchip. So I take this sometimes as, like, a cell phone chip. Or like tracing like the cell phone or some sort of um, digital evidence tracing that um, top secret. I feel like there's a lot of things that are top secret about this case. Like things maybe that they know or they're finding out that they're not saying. But also I feel like there was secret things going on in his life that like no one knew. And I feel like he loved his wife. He told his wife everything. Like they were on good terms and everything. But you know sometimes people just hide things from us. I feel like he wanted a good life for his for his wife and his kids and everything. And I think maybe it cost him more than he bargained for. Or I just heard. Sorry, I just dropped half my cards. I need more room, man. So I don't know if he had life insurance. And I'm not saying that that's involved in anything here. We can also take it as money, but, um, or some kind of other insurance. But, um, it doesn't mean that that's like a motive or anything. I'm not saying that any, I'm not saying his wife or anybody's involved. It doesn't come across that way um, at all. Um, I don't understand the, that love card, but then we have a gift. But the gift card's next to the government card, so I don't know. So I reshuffled and I kept pulling the government card, so I don't know if there's like going to be a gift from the government in regards to this. And you could do government, could be FBI or whatever that may be. Um, we have the travel, which he was traveling. He was driving. Um, so I could take that as that. This one does say it's going to be solved, though, according to this card. And we have the fraud card. So there was fraud going on, which would go along with everything I said in the beginning of these cards. We have truth comes out. Um, we have abuse and neglect. Gaslighting, manipulation, which he could have very well been in the gaslight. Gaslight, greed. See the money. The money is all around this for some reason. Like I don't know if I feel like maybe he was trying to get extra money or something, or like they offered him a lot and he took it. And. You know what? I could take the rival spouse card. Like, maybe she didn't like the guy. Like, maybe it's someone that she didn't like. I don't know if they were having problems. I mean, you could take it as that. But I know she's been very outspoken and active about finding him and saying everything was going well and stuff. But, um... I mean, those cards, it depends on how you perceive it. It could be someone that she knew, that they both knew. Um, and then we have clean up. So someone's cleaned up. Um, 
in some way, shape, or form, which obviously it's a mystery to everybody right now. Um, so we have those cards. Now we have we have kept secret. So this makes me feel like again, like he was keeping something secret that he was doing. I keep feeling like it was something involved with his work or something. Like he was doing something secret in his life that he didn't want no one to know or his wife to know. It's almost like he got involved in something. And he had alcohol again. So, I mean, he could have been drinking when she didn't know. And I don't know if that led to anything. But um, because I do think he had to have gotten in the car with someone if his scent just disappeared. But... I mean, I don't know. That could be that could relate to the poop or the um, victim, you know. We have an argument. Now what was interesting when I kept seeing is I kept hearing when I was pulling these cards, men arguing. Like there's an argument over money or something that was going on. I keep wanting to go back to the trucking company. Um, but I feel like there was an argument that was involved over the situation, like what was going on as far as the trafficking or stuff going on with the business and I kept hearing men argue so and I don't know if I want to say what I kept seeing over and over because I haven't done the real reading um anyways there's fingerprints there's spy and investigation so, take that as you will, in footprints. So, fingers are fingerprints, footprints, investigation. There, I don't know. There could be that, that, that someone was actually investigating that company as well, or investigating something. Maybe the government was investigating him, or the company, or something like that. I don't know. Then we have... Their murder weapon will provide valuable clues. Which I kept seeing a gun and hearing one. And, ugh, I don't want to go into that because I haven't done the reading yet. If friend knows something. See? Friend. Friends all over this. There's somebody that knows something that's a friend of theirs. Or. And then this too. Drugs may be an important factor in the case. Either on them or running them. But with the trafficking card, it's more like maybe running them. That doesn't mean that someone didn't partake in it. You see multiple meanings, too. So these are the tarot cards I've pulled. Um, we have we have the Hermit. Loneliness, isolation, seclusion, being overcome, paralyzed by fear, antisocial, restrictive. So I don't know if he was in the time leading up to that. Um... I'm just going to take the more negative aspects of these because this is a negative situation. So problems, then we have the king of wands, problems with business, broken promises, forceful, domineering, disrespectful, impulsive, and bad temper. And that's a fire element, which temper is fire. Then we have, and so that right there, you know, um, problems with business. And then we have this. This is the um, Six of Pentacles. This is a abuse of generosity, debt, power, debt, power dynamics, fake charity, selflessness, poor financial decisions. So I'm just wondering if he was having money problems and he was trying to make up for it or something. Then we have the Sun card. But we're taking the negative aspects, so sadness, gloom, sorrow, pessimism, failure, inertia, and action, delays. And we have the seven of wands. Exhaustion, defeat, giving up, yielding, lack of self-confidence, motivation, overwhelmed. Like, maybe he was feeling overwhelmed. Maybe he just didn't let his wife know that. And we have this one. This is the um, 
Five of Wands. Competition, conflict, argument, disputes, lack of cooperation, diversity, tension, rivals, opposition. We literally have the rival card. We literally have the argument card. Like this validates the argument and rival. It's freaking crazy. And then we have the Knight of Cups, which is heartbreak, deceit, disappointment, unrealistic turmoil, avoiding conflict. Um, Room for these. We have the hangman, which is usually we're we're hung, we're like in a like standstill with things. Um so it, but it's also arrogance, stagnation, fear, sacrifice, delays, laziness, resistance to spiritual influence. Then we oh, what was the last one? Oh, this way. We have the um Nine of Pentacles, financial dependency, lack of stability, insecurity, reckless spending, superficially, failure. There's another card. This is about like having issues financially. Then we have the strength card, vulnerability, insecurity, self doubt, low confidence, disbelief, abuse of power. We have the tower card. Everything's crumbling. Crumbling, um, delayed, catastrophe, fear of pain, avoiding tragedy, resisting change, transformation. But it's also intense and sudden change, catastrophe, destruction, painful loss, tragedy, revelation, trauma, and chaos, which is all around this case because, you know, he's missing. It's a tragedy. This might not be a good outcome with the tower card. And then we have the uh, Nine of Swords, which is an air sign card, but it's um, you know, anxiety, fear, despair, hopelessness, isolation, nightmares, breaking point, anguish, overwhelmed. Maybe he felt overwhelmed in, ang in his life. You know, I just wonder if there was financial issues that he wasn't telling his wife. Maybe the paper trail goes back to they need to look at the financials. Or she needs to. Someone needs to. Um... Then we have the Fool card, but it can mean recklessness, folly, carelessness, holding back, being naive, hasty to, and easy to manipulate, which we already have them with the gaslighting card, the manipulation card. So these cards are just clarifying what we already got in the reading. Um, and then we have the Six of Swords, which is you're stuck, like you can't move on, returning to trouble, running away from problems, slow healing. See, that's what I thought, is maybe he was running away because he was doing all this stuff, not necessarily because he wanted to leave his wife, but because he was doing these things and he probably wasn't proud of himself. But, I mean, you can make these lights go off. I never like to say... If someone is alive or deceased because it's really hard to tell the energy sometimes if somebody has like if they're on anything like it's hard to tell like sometimes it's hard to read the energy for me anyways that's not one of my strongest gifts um so we have the magician card which is trickery deception um craftiness illusions farce manipulative poor planning wasted talent So honestly, these cards feel like they're all energy around the whole situation. Like, I didn't even mean to keep pulling them. <laughs> we only got two left, but um, we have the Six of Wands, which is failure, lack of recognition, no rewards, lack of achievement, fall from grace, conceited disappointment. I feel like he was really feeling like, like just things weren't going right. Um. And that's why a part of me is like, did he just run off? But when you have all this other stuff and I keep hearing arguing, I definitely feel like there was something weird that was going on. But then we have the Three of, three of Swords, which is um, you know, heartbreak, separation, sorrow, emotional pain. Can, cause, can be heart problems as well. Betrayal, upset, loss, trauma, and tears. 
So that's like basically your loss card. Like if someone has a loss, that's basically what it is. So unfortunately, I don't feel great about the outcome of this because of the cards that I pulled. Um, it just doesn't feel good. I'm going to see if I can pull anything else right now without doing a reading reading because um, we will do a reading reading, but you know, it's, it's hard for me to channel my own. I get in my head too much. So if I have to, I'll do an auto write at a different time. He's, I'm drained just from the cards, unfortunately. Um, yeah. I don't know. I just feel like he was in some. Sh in, he's either in with some shady people, or in with some shady situations, because he. It's almost like he was. He was needing money, or he was just like, wanting more money. Like I feel like he was tired and working all the time. Like I feel like he's an overworker, like me. Like he worked all the time, all the time. And he never got, like, days off. And I think he wanted to have more money than that. And somebody probably offered him a really good deal or something. But I keep going back to the business or the person that he drove for. I know he's, like, independent. Like, I, he's an independent driver. But I just wonder if there's someone that he was in business with or that he drove for a lot or that was also a friend that is a little shady. You know, um, because I keep getting like a shady feeling around someone that he knew and their business, like what they did. And are there farms out there? Because I keep like getting a reference to like farmland or a farm for some odd reason. Um, I don't know if Iowa has cornfields, but I keep seeing cornfields. I don't know how far away that would be. I don't know if that's relation to where the dude lives or where um, David is. Because um, it's like I see fields and then all of a sudden I see cornfields. And I know this is Iowa. And I know obviously that the corn probably isn't growing right now. But, you know, wherever they would have the cornfield. And then... Um, there's also a reference to a creep, but I don't know why he he's like showing me where he. Uh, come on, David, you can touch the balls like Dylan did, please, um, just for validation for me. Um, he keeps going like this, like I hear turmoil. Because, you know, I'm, I'm struggling with my mind here. I'm thinking, well, maybe he was just so upset with his life, he just took off. You know, he had someone pick him up, and he's in hiding, and he took off, and he's with a friend. Like, that's what I want to say, but then we have, I don't know, we have a homicide card, and I feel his energy. And I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm struggling with the, with this one. <laughs> I'm not used to doing it, doing the cards first, so. Um, definitely somebody did pick him up. But I don't think he went willingly. It's almost like, um, so that was my, what my mind was thinking. But the visions that I'm getting are like, I don't know if he's calling something or he had done something, stolen something, some kind of, you know, and then he, there's a phone call or something like that. Cause I see him talking on the phone. Well, that's kind of weird. And then I don't know if he pulls over for someone or someone makes him pull over. That's not what, that's not what's clear with this. 
I heard hick. Um, I also get the words right. It's almost like if I was taken by force and in to someone, you know, it kind of reminds me of like a movie. It's really weird. Um, I keep getting though that this has something to do with like money. It's got something to do with money, possibly drug shop or paraphernalia, possibly trafficking. Um, like, did he do someone wrong? Um, because this is very stealth the way that this happened. Um, in the way that he was went missing. Uh, it's really like uh, I keep getting an older guy though. An older type hick guy. I keep wanting to go back to like someone that he works for or something. Like the business, the business is all around it for some reason. Business, money. Secrets. Because you know, like, when you're an independent person, right, and you're driving for other companies, it makes me wonder if, like, you know, someone approached him, like, hey, do you want to do this for us? Like, we could get, we could pay you really well. You know, you won't get caught or, you know, something. Like, it's almost like he's approached with, like, a deal or, I don't know. And that's so weird. I just realized because he had a he had a truck of pigs, and I'm getting a farming. I'm getting far like a farming area, and I don't know if that's where he is or why I'm seeing that. But the farming area is coming in really strong. Um, it's like these fields right off of a road, and my temple hurts. Um. I kept seeing him in a chair and like, I don't want to say that because I haven't done a reading, but it's almost like a business deal gone wrong or something gone awry with what he was doing or like someone, mm, like he made someone. Sorry about that. I gotta go take care of my animals. Um, I'm trying to get more. I just, it's hard for me to channel by myself without auto writing. Like, I'll either auto write or I'll do a reading on this to like clarify more. But I keep getting these like feelings around it, just like, I don't know. Like, not adequate or. I don't know if he was in money trouble. My head hurts a lot with him. And when I pause this, I wanted to cough. My chest hurts. Like, I can't breathe all of a sudden. But I do see my keep. See, my mind is like, oh, did he just get in the car with someone and, like, like leave his life? But I just... I don't think he would do that, but you never know what someone's thinking or feeling, regardless of how happy they seem and everything. But, you know, we have this, um, I don't know, this, it's, these cards kind of go together in what happened. So, and like I said, I felt a very, very strong energy with him, and I'm getting like, I'm getting, getting like farmland, farmland. So I'd be curious what farmland is like around there. Um, and cornfields especially keep popping in. But I keep going back again to like one of these businesses that he was hauling for. Um, I don't know if he made a mistake or 
something that got him into trouble. Um, the guy, I keep getting on for like a longer grayish beard or something. The longish, the longish gray, like it's like gray with black or something like, or I don't know. It feels like it's long. Um, Cause it makes me feel the way like a coarse beard would feel. I've got a lot of white. Um, there's reference to glasses too. I don't know, some of the like silver and rim type glasses. They feel like a bigger guy. I feel like I got wider shoulders, work boots. Like this is someone that I don't know. I keep getting reference to farm or farming country, farming country. It smells like farming country, and then next to the farming country is like woods or something, and there's like a creek or something that goes by there. And they're giving me a cross, too, so that could be a church or a cemetery, but sometimes it's a church. I don't know. Well, um... I gotta go take care of everything. I am going to, I will pick this up again, again later. Again, this is just something preliminary. Um, I'm, I struggle to channel on my own without someone to bounce back off of unless I'm doing an auto write. So again, I'll either do an auto write or I'll have Lizzie help me. She's sick right now. So I might have to do an auto write. Plus I get a little bit deeper and, um, I can see things a little bit better when I do auto writes. The only problem with auto writes is that, as you know, uh, I can get interconnects, which my stuff's more focused now, but um, I can still get them because I'm an open channel in that way. So I feel like I don't even know if I want to release this, but I mean, I guess got them for a reason, got the cards for a reason. It felt right when I was doing it. So I'm just I'm going to release it. It's just a preliminary. OK, I will do more on this. Um, I will try to do, like, see the location better and everything. It could be because I'm, like, tired and stuff, and I'm tired from doing this, that I'm my energy is low, and I'm not able to get more. And plus, again, I have a hard time, like, channeling on my own for some reason. Um, if I have somebody there to, like, bounce off of, it helps, or if I'm in deep channel typing. But that's why we're doing this, is to grow in different ways and do different things and try different things because what's important is the voices for the victims, being, you know, being the voice for the victims and trying to do the best that we can, whichever way that may be. However we want to get the answers, that's what we want to do. So regardless of, you know, if I struggle through it to get the answers, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do whatever I feel pulled to do because I'm always following spirit. I'm not following anything else. I'm always following spirit. I go in the direction that they send me. Because without them, I wouldn't have these gifts. So I go in their direction, not my direction. If they say pull cards and then try to channel, that's what I'm going to do. Like I said, I saw things while I was doing this. And hopefully, it's at least a good preliminary um, thing. And then I will do another reading to add on to this. So I appreciate you guys, your love and support, as always. Um, I will I will see you next time. I hope this was good. I don't know. I'm I'm very hard on myself about things, so hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully it's helpful in some way. Again, just preliminary. I'll get a little bit deeper and figure some more stuff out next video.